It was a very familiar place. I grew up as a child from seventh grade working at Porter Hospital in Denver. In seventh grade, when I moved there in 1959, Porter Hospital was still the old hospital. Didn't have the addition. Robin knows about this because Robin was one of my classmates at Mile High Academy, and his mother was a teacher that taught often there at Mile High. Denver Junior Academy in Mile High. I worked in the dish room. Ah, uh, worked in the dish room? Washing dishes at Porter. At Porter, okay. Well, I worked in housekeeping at Porter. You know what housekeeping is? Med cheese. And so did my girlfriend, who I was later to marry. We both worked in housekeeping. And I can remember when the new addition came on the border out in the front there, and I had the whole third floor. That was my responsibility one summer, the whole third floor working housekeeping. And uh, Judy, she rotated around. I remember often we shared um, Judy's disinfecting rooms after staff. And we'd go in there and have to put the foggers in and, and have all the equipment on, you know, and it wasn't quite as uh, EPA or I don't know, approved, DOT approved. Uh, anyway, I can remember the, the getting in your throat all that, uh, the fogging from the, from the rooms. So we grew up, Judy and I grew up at Porter, working there at Porter. <coughs> Never did we ever imagine in our minds that several years later we would be in one of those rooms, but in the room as patient and husband on the other side of the story. And it was quite a change of events at Porter. The cancer center there we spent a lot of time there too. But I can remember after the surgery, we're in a room and uh, in comes who I like to refer to as church lady. And she comes in uninvited, the door was closed. And the first thing that came out of her mouth as she talked to Judy and I was this phrase. Just remember, all things work together for good. My wife motioned to come over. She whispered in my ear, get her out of here. a totally inappropriate use of that text. Wrong timing, wrong context. Don't ever do that to somebody. She used one of the most misunderstood and misused texts in the Bible. And today we're going to look at that text. We've been on our study and journey of Romans. We've been stuck in chapter 8 for about 8 lessons now. And we will be remaining in chapter 8 for a while. Try to get through the book of Romans on Helen's challenge within probably, you know, 3 months. Not going to be that way. We're right into November before we finish Romans. We've been in chapter 8 because, as I've shared with you before, it is called the greatest chapter in the Bible. And so we cannot spend just half an hour study on all of chapter 8. We're almost taking it verse by verse. This verse itself not only demands a half an hour, I could probably spend two or three hours on this verse. Well, we just have a half an hour today 